Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we'll be talking about Lesson 7.3, Impacts on Land. Firstly, we will be introduced to the concept of land as a resource. We'll be talking about six main key terms. Firstly, which, are, which is natural resource, materials or substance found in nature that are valuable to humans. Then we have renewable resources, resources that can be replenished naturally within a human lifetime, like sunlight, wind, and forest. Non-renewable resources, that resources that are finite and cannot be replaced once depleted, such as fossil fuels and minerals. Then, moving to the agriculture, which is the practice of farming, including crop cultivation. Then we have deforestation, the clearing of forests for human activities, leading to environmental degradation. Lastly, we have the development, which is the progress in economic, social, and technological aspects that improves living standards and quality of life. After that, we have the importance of soil management. The importance of soil management that taking care of soil is really important for farming and keeping nature healthy. We do things like planting different crops in a smart order, using natural materials to help soil grow and recycling old plants parts to keep the soil rich and healthy. Structure of the soil. Soil is like a sandwich with different layers. The top layer has lots of nutrients and is where plants grow. Underneath, there is more soil with less nutrients. And at the bottom, there is hard rock. Each layer helps plants grow in different ways. Then we have erosion. Erosion happens when wind or water carries away bits of soil. It can happen naturally but sometimes people do things that make it worse, like cutting down too many trees or walking on soil too much. When soil erodes, it's hard for plants to grow and it can make rivers and lakes dirty. Moving to the continuation of importance of soil management, we have nutrient depletion. Nutrient depletion means that the soil doesn't have enough food for plants. This can happen when farmers grow the same crop in the same place over and over again, without giving the soil a chance to rest and get more food. When this happens, plants don't grow as well and it's harder to grow food. Then we have desertification. Desertification is when land slowly turns into desert. It happens when people do things like cutting down trees or letting animals eat too much grass. It makes it really hard for anything to grow and it can cause big problems for people and animals who live there. And then lastly, we are going to be talking about landfills and land reclamation. So can't wait to see you this week.